Hey folks, uh, this lesson is special products of binomials. This is part one, and this is uh, we're doing a binomial squared today on this lesson. Tomorrow we'll do with this thing that's called conjugates, but this one is uh, pretty easy, you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to multiply uh, a plus b squared and a minus b squared. Now a very common error, you guys, is students think it's just this one squared plus this one squared, okay? And it's not, you know, let's ch let's just plug in numbers. Try this with actual numbers here. If we did 5 plus 2 squared, I'll show you that it doesn't equal 5 squared plus 2 squared. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 squared is 49. That doesn't equal 5 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, and then over here, uh, or if you did plus right here, plus or minus, it doesn't work right there. So 5 minus 2 is, is 3. 3 squared is 9. And that doesn't equal 25 minus 4 or even 25 plus 4 right there. So so what you got to do, you guys, is we need to, uh, when you have a binomial squared, this is the correct way to do it. You write that binomial that many times, two times. So then we foil these binomials out, foil these binomials out. Okay, there they are foiled out. First times first is a squared. Outer times outer is uh, plus ab. Inner times inner is plus ba, which is the same as ab right there, but I wanted to write it in alphabetical order so that way we can combine these like terms. And finally, last times last is um, plus b squared. Okay, so first times first is ab. Outer times outer, positive times a negative is a negative ab. Inner times inner is a negative ba, which is negative ab. And then finally, a negative times a negative is a positive b squared right there. All right, let's combine these like terms. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. This is 1 plus 1, which is positive 2. So combine those like terms, we get 2ab. And over here, we get negative 2ab. So there's our formulas right there, you guys. So a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, okay? So it's handy if you can memorize these formulas. If you can't, then just write it twice and foil it out. I'm going to be using this formula because the more you use it, the more you get the hang of it, and it goes pretty easy. So here we go. x plus 4 quantity squared. There's our formulas. We're going to just follow this formula. Do the first one squared plus twice the product of these two guys. So we're going to multiply those two guys. So in this case, it's going to be x times 4 or 4x twice that and then plus the the b squared right there which is the 4 squared so there it is right there so uh, here's the a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and a is x and b is 4 all right so this is 8x and this is 16 so easy so x squared plus 8x plus 16 okay now if you if you don't know that formula some kids just refuse to memorize that formula it helps a bunch you guys but if you don't want to do that, then just write it twice, x plus 4 times x plus 4, and foil it out. That's what you'll get right there, okay? Let's step it up a little bit here. So 3x plus 2y quantity squared. I'm going to use this formula. Square the 3x, and then put a 2, and then multiply 3x and 2y, and then square the 2y right there, okay? So there's that right there. All right, now, uh, when we're squaring a quantity, we square the 3 and the x, okay? So 3 squared and x squared. Here, I'm going to put the 3, the 2 and the 3 together, and then put the x and the y last, and then this is 2 squared and then y squared, okay? So there's that right there. 3 squared is 9, so we get 9x squared, and then this product is 12xy and then plus 4y squared, okay? All right, and if you don't know how to do that formula, again, I suggest just try to memorize that, you guys. Just foil it out. Write it twice and foil it out, okay? We did a lot of that. Okay, so 4 plus x squared squared, okay? So here's my a plus b squared. Squared. Okay, so we'll just follow this pattern right here. Okay, so we'll square the first one, take twice the product of those two guys, so twice the product of 4x squared, and then square the last one, x squared squared. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, and then, uh, so this is 16, this is going to be 8x squared, and this will be x to the fourth right there. Okay, so, so uh, typically, you guys, we like to write it in standard form. Standard form is in descending order, but I noticed your book... Uh, didn't. They put it in that order right there. When we get to our factoring chapter, we're going to be wanting to put
put it in that order. So I'm just going to try to get you guys to write it in descending order. But I'd take that on a test, and I bet your teacher would also. All right, so here, this time, A is negative X and B is uh, 3. Okay, just follow this pattern. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Okay, there it is. All right, so negative X squared is positive X squared. Here I have a positive times a negative. This is going to be a minus 2X and then plus plus the 9 right there. Okay. What did I say? Yeah, minus 2x times 3. Sorry, minus 6x right there. My bad. Okay. All right, so try this one. This one we're going to follow this pattern right here. So it's going to be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is a, this is b right there. So there we go. So it's going to be x squared minus 2 times x times 5 plus the 5 squared. Okay. There's our answer right there. All right. Okay, how about this? I'm picking it up a little bit more challenging. Okay, so here's our formula. So we're going to go 6 squared minus twice 6x times 1 and then plus 1 squared. Okay, 6 squared is 36. Um, and then x squared is x squared. So 36x squared. And then you get minus 12x and then plus 1. Okay, how about this guy? Okay, so we're going to uh, follow this again. So A is the 4x and A is the 4x and B is the 3y. So here we're going to have 4x squared minus 2 times 4x times a negative 3y, okay, or times 3y, sorry, the negative's covered right there, and then plus 3y quantity squared, okay, there's that right there. All right, so 4 squared is 16, this is 16x squared, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24, so this is going to be a minus 8xy and then plus 9y squared right there, okay. Okay, all right, so here we go. Let's do one application. A square patio has a side length of x minus 3 feet, and the patio is surrounded by a flower garden that has a uniform width. And the side length of the square area that includes the patio and the flower garden, so out surrounding the flower garden, is x plus 3 feet. So write an expression for the area of the flower garden. Okay, so here's the outside area that includes the flower garden and the patio, and the red guy is the patio right here, okay? So the flower garden is this little, um, little sort of uh, middle part right inside of here right there. So what we're going to do is find the total area, and then we'll find the area of the patio, and then we'll subtract these two, and that'll give us the area of the flower garden, okay? So the total area is x plus 3 squared, or uh, x squared plus um, uh, twice x times 3 is 6x, and then plus uh, 3 squared, okay? And the area of the patio is x minus 3 squared, so x squared minus 2 times x times 3 is minus 6x, and then plus 9 right there. Okay, so the flower garden, you guys, is that little area in the middle right there. So that flower garden is going to be the total area minus uh, the area of the patio right there. Okay, so we're going to just plug in this expression minus this expression right there. Okay, and then now we're going to distribute this negative through the parentheses. So it becomes minus x squared. This is going to be a plus 6x, and this is going to be a minus 9 right there. Okay, so there's that right there. And then we'll combine like terms. x squared minus x squared, they're gone. Okay, 6x plus 6x is going to be 12x. 9 minus 9, that's gone. So the answer is going to be 12x. And then answer it in the context of the problem. It's an area, so 12x uh, feet squared. All right, if you guys are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.